It's a busy one. I'm Rita Garcia. And I'm Samika Knight. Happy hump day. Yeah, meteorologist Alita Lareska joining us with the first look at our forecast. Good morning, Alita. Good morning. Happy hump day, Sam. Happy hump day. Yeah, definitely a chilly start to the morning. Grab the jackets this morning. Temperature readings in the 50s and 60s. You'll notice that north breeze not too strong out there, but we've got a little bit of fog that we're going to be tracking throughout the morning. Let me show you a couple spots that we're going to be monitoring for the potential of some dense fog uh, to develop around the Huntsville area. I wouldn't be surprised if if we see some of that fog, northern Montgomery County, along the northern fringes there, and also down toward Brazoria County. So just uh, look out for that. Make sure you check in throughout the morning to see whether or not that fog develops elsewhere. But for now, just a couple of spots reporting those visibilities less than a mile. Check out the temperature ratings. Uh, 50s, lower 50s in Navasota. Cleveland, good morning to you. You're at 54 degrees. 56 in Houston, running about three degrees cooler. So now that the clouds are gone, temperature readings will fall. The winds are also on the calm side. So we've got all the ingredients for some maximum cooling this morning. That chill in the air will last for several hours. And then as we get into the afternoon, some bright sunshine returns. So if you didn't see the sun yesterday, you're going to see it today. But look out, we've got some clouds rolling back in. These clouds are coming in from east to west. For today, temperature readings will climb. By 11 a.m., we're talking a temperature reading of 68 degrees, 1 o'clock, 71. I'm anticipating those temperature readings somewhere into the mid-70s. But once the sun falls, we've got temperatures that will rapidly cool off overnight. We're talking a warm-up for the rest of the week. And then those rain chances return beginning on Sunday. I'll have those details for you. And, of course, I'll look ahead at the Thanksgiving week coming up in just a few minutes. Good morning, Sam. Happy hump day. All right, if you missed out on the sunshine yesterday, don't worry. You've got a great opportunity to get that sunshine today and some warmer conditions. We're talking temperature readings in the mid 70s will continue with this warm up uh, at least through the end of the week. And then a weak little front drops the temperatures for the weekend. But a bigger drop is on the way just in time for Thanksgiving. I'll have the details on why coming up in just a few minutes. But first, the air quality report sponsored by Bingo Blitz. Yesterday, uh, got some sunshine yesterday finally, and we've got more sunshine on the way. So we're we're going to take temperatures up a little bit higher for this afternoon. Look for a high of 74, 75 on Thursday. And then temperatures actually do come down a bit for the weekend. On Friday, there's a weak front, the first of two fronts within our next 10 days. This one comes through dry with very little fanfare. But the next one that arrives early next week on Monday, not only going to bring us some rain and thunderstorms, but also a bigger drop in those temperatures as we get closer toward Thanksgiving. It is going to to feel like Thanksgiving weather, that's for sure. You'll notice that the rain chances drop near 0% the next few days, and then it climbs with that front coming in across the state on Sunday. We're going to see that moisture gathering across the area as that front moves through sometime on Monday. There's going to be enough instability, enough ingredients to prompt the chance for some strong thunderstorms. Right now, we're not seeing any sort of high confidence of severe weather, but if that changes as we get a little bit closer, of course, we will let you know. Of course, this is going to be a big weekend of travel. For those of you that may be traveling, there's going to be some heavy rain accumulating over the eastern Gulf of Mexico. For us, with those chances for rain going up later on this weekend into early next week, you can see that the rainfall totals start to climb as well. One to two inches right now. Favorable areas for those higher rainfall totals will be east of I-45 over toward Louisiana. All right, temperature readings have dipped into the 50s. If it feels a little bit cooler when you step outside, yes, it is. That uh, The clouds that have been keeping pretty much a blanket overhead are gone. So we've got that nice cooling pattern here. A little bit of fog as well. Saw a little bit of fog around the Huntsville, northern Montgomery County, and also a little bit of fog cropping down toward Brazoria County and Angleton. We'll continue to watch that for you. As far as temperatures are concerned, we're at 54 in Cleveland, mid 50s in Sealy, low 60s down in Galveston. And by this afternoon, it's going to be warm. Very, very pleasant. Low humidity. Typical low or normal low for this time of year, I should say high. 73 degrees. Looking for a high of 74. Katy, 73 degrees, low 70s in Wharton as well. And then look for overnight lows to dip down into the 50s. Maybe even just a little bit milder than this morning, but certainly jacket weather. 
all across southeast Texas. Temperature readings out toward Bastrop and LaGrange, down toward Edna in the upper 40s to low 50s there. So let me share with you the changes in the weather pattern. We stay quiet here the next several days. I mentioned that front moves through a very weak one on Friday. We see a little bit of a drop in temperatures, some added clouds, but by Sunday, that's when those rain shower chances increase. We got some thunderstorms thrown in for Monday. I still think there's going to be some clouds Tuesday, but mostly dry conditions and temperature readings will be falling behind this front. We get some sunshine building back in here Wednesday into Thursday. That's going to allow temperatures to fall during the overnight hours in the 40s. Meanwhile, those afternoon highs in the mid 60s. So if you purchase that new fall sweater that you cannot wait to wear for Thanksgiving dinner, it is looking right. Don't you have like special sweaters? No. That you, no? Okay. Temperatures <laughs> <laughs> are going to be perfect for that new turkey sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I do have that new sweater See? that is currently on the hanger, Alita. Thank so I'm you, with Rita. you on that. It's got like sparkles and stuff. Anyway. Off this morning with a chill in the air. Feels fantastic out there. You got a little taste of it yesterday. What you didn't get yesterday, and you'll get more of today, is that bright blue sky. Sunshine return. Oh, when we can expect the next chance for some rain and thunderstorms coming up in just a few minutes. Good. The garlic so, crust on the pizza so is good. Yes. I mean, the band is good too, but the pizza is so. The, yeah. the pizza and the salad bar is so good. They have those little sesame crunchy things that you okay. can. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> we've, we're Chuck E. Cheese girls. That's our time. You know, there's kids out there going, What's Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's sad. All right, weather wise for today. Uh, hey, it's too nice to go to Chuck E. Cheese. You want to be outdoors. They don't have any outdoor. Maybe they could add that uh, along. I want the band, though. I think the band is a good thing. All right, weather wise for today, you can see we've dropped the rain chances, my friends. We're getting a little bit of a reprieve here from the rain, which is a good thing. Uh, we will get more rain Sunday into Monday, and you will also notice that we are going to see a nice warm up out ahead of of our next chance for rain. Here's the system. Yeah, that system is still over the Gulf of Mexico, but it is going to continue to swing over the East Coast and then eventually move offshore. But we've got high pressure building in, and this ridge of high pressure in the upper levels is going to dominate our weather pattern, at least through Saturday, bringing us a nice steady warm up. And then I mentioned some rain. Yeah, our next frontal boundary coming in Sunday and into Monday. So not only a chance for rain on Sunday, but also the potential for some thunderstorms as we get into the Monday time frame. It won't be a complete washout on Monday, but do know that uh, the morning commute could possibly uh, be a very messy one. Uh, meanwhile, you can see that the rainfall totals over the next seven days, not showing any sign of widespread flooding, but there could be uh, some isolated amounts, one to two inches. We've got a great start to your Wednesday morning. I mean, just absolutely spectacular. If you missed out on the sunshine yesterday, Good news, you're going to get some sunshine today with temperature readings starting off this morning in the upper 50s to low 60s and a little bit of fog out there. Uh, unfortunately, we've been watching some of that fog creeping a little bit closer towards Sealy. Right now, northern parts of Austin County is where we're seeing some of the dense uh, fog as well as Washington County. Otherwise, that fog is going to continue to lift by mid to late morning, looking for mostly sunny conditions and temperatures will be warming in the low to mid 70s. We'll continue to see those temperatures warm in the coming days days, but you can see the clouds will be returning later on tonight. So those morning temperatures tomorrow may be just a touch warmer because of that cloud cover. We'll be finding temperatures into the mid 50s instead of the lower 50s like we're seeing this morning. But the pattern stays nice and quiet until Sunday when that. All right, it is 548 in the Weather Center with Alita. And what is this talk of warming up? I'm <laughs> yes. loving this weather. Yeah, I know we've got the cool, the cool down this morning, but you're going to be mm -hmm. shedding those layers. Aww. Yes, get ready. It's all right. A little bit of a warm up isn't too bad. We're not going to get back into the upper 80s where we were last week. You saw that big drop in temperatures once that cold front moved through and then we got the rain. Obviously yesterday we got a little taste of that sunshine returning and that allowed temperatures to return into the low 70s. We'll be in the 70s over the next several days. In fact, we've got two fronts on the way. The first of those two fronts is just going to bring a little dip.